He wanted everything to be perfect. He also wanted someone to back him up and so he told his mother everything. Tarun practiced vigorously for five days and then met Ram Narayan to collect his participation card. Tarun gazed at the piece of paper which meant so much to him. No matter what, he had to win this race. He wanted to show his father that he was not really the black sheep of the family and that he could be good at something at least. Then came November 14. After taking the blessings of his mother, Tarun pedaled away to the stadium. There was a huge crowd waiting to go inside. Tarun entered the office where a signboard read, Participants only. With his heart beating faster every second, Inside, there were about 50 participants waiting for the race to begin. Someone patted him on his shoulders. Hello Tarun. It was Ram Narayan. All the best, he said affectionately. Tarun smiled but did not say a word. All the participants lined up, each one hoping to win the race. Each one of them had his family and friends on the stands to cheer for them. To his amazement, Tarun saw his mother in the stands. The fear in his eyes changed to confidence. The whistle blew and all the participants started off with all their might. They were all determined to be the winner of the race. In the lead was the fastest of them all. Tarun. Seeing himself ahead of everybody, Tarun felt very proud of himself. On the track, there was a shallow path. As he was running fast, Tarun did not notice that and he slipped. Breathing fast, he saw the other kids going past him. He could not be a loser. Today and so without wasting a second, he got up to run once more. Being quick, Tarun overtook a few kids ahead of him, but as fate would have it, he slipped again. What was happening to him? He could not bear it. He looked into the crowd and saw his mother. She was saying something to him. Get up son, get up and run. So Tarun got up once again. He was among the last few, but he did not give up. Once more, he overtook some children. Since he was fretting a little too much, he fell a third time. Tears were rolling down his cheeks. How will he get into Ram Narayan's training school now? How will he prove to his parents that he was talented? He was the last kid on the track now. He turned his eyes towards the stands. Then he heard Ram Narayan screaming from somewhere. Come on Tarun, run! And so he got up a third time. This 12 year old determined boy who was last on the track got up and ran with all the strength he had. The crowd was cheering for Pavan, the boy who had won the race. But to Tarun's surprise, there was louder applause when he crossed the finishing line last. The audience cheered for his determination and his valour for never giving up. He bowed his head with shame and said to Ram Narayan, I am sorry sir, I lost. No son, to me you have won the toughest race, the race of your life. You got up and started afresh each time you fell. You are a real life hero. Your training starts tomorrow. Tarun could not believe his ears. Tears filled his eyes again. He smiled at his mother who hugged him and said, You are the best son in the world.